Hey everyone, what's up? It's Master THC56, and welcome to a reaction video that I am proud to make. So, as of like the last news we got about Kingdom Hearts from like the melody and everything, and he said, check in April to make sure for the event. Well, today's the day, and as you can see, Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary. I don't know what's gonna go on, I hope there's a lot of hype behind it because I saw a few notifications that popped up about Kingdom Hearts is going insane, Kingdom Hearts is this and that. And as you guys can tell, if you guys stuck around my channel for long enough, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. So whatever this news that's making my notifications go crazy and some of my friends saying, you have to check this out. It must be worth it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. That is bringing up um, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or um, Dark Road, that's what it's called. I've always loved the designs for the extra characters. And the story was so sad. Okay, it's pretty much a recap of Dark Road. Yep, I was right. Dark Road. It was a little reek. Oh, the scene hurt so much. Soon. Yep. Wait, what? Oh, everything is. What is this? What? What? That's Emperor. And who is this? Alright, the missing link. Kesha Okay, so this game... Oh, so I like it. Oh, 
missing the link. So... So this game, well, as it's shown out, is a mobile game, but it's another story saying everything's connected. What does that mean? Are we going to learn more about Scala and the character that we were seeing is our creative character, but we don't know if it's the same character or it's afterwards of the events of Union Cross. I believe that's it. And then an the lo the lost master arc. What is this can't be it. If this is it, I'm gonna freak out. The heart resides within the soul, which in turn is guided by fate to its rightful place. Jeez, this looks so realistic. The choice is yours once more. Is that Sora? What is this? That's supposed to be Sterilizer. So, so oh, okay. So Sora is in the real world? Or in the Final Fantasy world? Dark side looks so intimidating. Now I'm actually scared of this character. Because this has been a main boss throughout this Kingdom Hearts series. And it's never looked this terrifying. This is sick. Oh my god. It looks like this? Oh my... This is... This is sick. Is this Kingdom Hearts 4? What? This is... Oh my... That's what this game looks... What is going on anymore? It's so weird hearing these two in Japanese. Is that... A recap video of this event will be av available at a later date. What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we gotta go back. Let me um turn down the volume and everything just to make sure. But I can't believe this right here is sore. This looks insane. And look, we actually see his feet for once. That's the same too. <laughs> so his feet is not really that big. He just has huge ass shoes but other than that it's like this looks insanely good and then 
this girl right here is from um Kingdom Hearts Union Union Cross. It's a sterilizer. But how is she here? Because what we got from the story was that she was killed. But somehow she's because I know she was mentioned in three, but they didn't really give us too much information. This is insane. Like, it looks so good. Like, I can't believe that it looks this good. It looks so realistic. It's especially. Sorry. But especially this part, how it just cuts into this part. Dark side looks so menacing in this game. And then this part right here. Dude can use his keychain as a grappling hook. That is insane. Just look how cool that is. Like, this is unreal. So at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, the DLC, Remind. So when he fought, um can't remember his name Vexen whatever his name was or or whoever that kid was Nexus Scarlet Nexus something like that so he ended up in this world after everything that happened because he saved everyone in Kingdom Hearts 3 he resided everyone and everyone's in their world but then they said they can't find Sora. So this is where he woke up. Like, this looks insane. Like, I cannot believe that it looks like this. Like, the graphics, the, st the lighting, everything that's going on. This looks amazing. Because they called it the Lost Master Art, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I went back to yeah. They call it the Lost Master Art. So is this going to be about? So this. So so far we know this is after everything that happened in Kingdom Hearts Three, including the DLC. This is where Sora resided. So we're gonna learn about this new world, the Quadrum. I think they called it something like that. Like this is amazing like I cannot believe that Kingdom Hearts 4 looks this insane like let's like skip ahead like yeah she said you've been asleep since you arrived and there was for several days or yeah the the quandrum so like is this girl just to look like Sterilizer or is this actually Sterilizer and like another world because I've been seeing theories like saying oh this person is this person in this world like this looks so good like it looks like this shot reminds me of like dying light it looks so good like I can't believe that it looks like this so this is in the in the works of being made and like what caught my attention towards the end after everything that happened they are um they say they're looking for Sora but then this flame pops up Hades it's Hades like that's insane that he's returning again or who knows whoever that I'm pretty sure that's Hades and like what is he gonna look like once he enters this world like that's what's crazy then another thing that's crazy is the game called the missing link like what is this game like it shows that you get to play with multiple people towards the end but it also shows that you get to use like figurines like it shows that you have Riku's power you have um Terra's power you have Aqua's power you have Mickey 
Like it's showing all these. It shows Cloud. Like it's showing all these different figurines. And like. How is this game going to work? Like. What it shows at the beginning. Like. Afterwards the missing link. It shows like you're just traveling. So like. Is this going to be like a situation of. um, Excuse me. Like a Pokemon Go situation? Is that how the... Because that's what it's reminding me so far. Because you're walking and it shows you interact with the Heartless in a battle. Which is pretty... Which is pretty cool, don't get me wrong. But it's like... If they was going to do that, I would prefer them just to make another mobile game instead... Like, a proper mobile game like um, Union Cross. Like, give us, like, that instead of trying to do the whole Pokemon Go aspect. Because, like, I know some people might enjoy it, but, like, I don't think it will last too long. Which is kind of disappointing because this looks so cool. And you get to customize and design characters. Or maybe you play as other characters. And that's Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. And then, like, that was, this was such a cool way to recap everything and bring everything together, because, um, pretty much, this game was already available, like, it's just being brought, um, this game was already available, but it's finally being, like, brought up to everyone or who everyone um for anyone who didn't play it like it's basically union cross but more as of like a card type game battle it's like the chain of memories version of union cross it's more about card play and everything you manage your selected team like you get to select a few teammates and then you do it from that and you get special cards and so on So that's pretty cool that everyone gets to see the finale and everything. And like that scene where it shows him, shows um, Xehanort burying the people. Like that was so heart wrenching to me, in my opinion. Like it's pretty cool that you finally get to find out more about Xehanort's past. But like this was a insane reveal like I didn't expect um I already knew about the finale of Dark Road I thought it was doing like a different type of game or whatever but I was excited to see like that finally be brought to everyone's light and then this game came out of nowhere the missing link like I really want to know where this is taking place because it's saying everything is connected in everything so like is this like after Union Cross and Dark Road? That's what I'm trying to think of because it shows um the main well it shows the creative character looking at Enfimer, a statue of Enfimer. It's called a Yeah, like it looks very good though. For a mobile game. And then this blew my mind. I cannot believe that. We are getting. A Kingdom Hearts 4. That looks like this. Like that's cool. Like, and the thing that I wonder. Is that like. Does it only look like this. Because he's in the real world. And we'll flip back to how it looks like. In. <clears throat> sorry. In Kingdom Hearts 3. That's what I'm wondering. But anyways, this was my reaction and it was a great thing to experience. Like, I was so surprised because I kept seeing everyone saying Kingdom Heart event, Kingdom Heart event. My friends blowing me up like, dude, you got to check this out. Like, I'm like, what is going on? And like, um, they just told me like, dude, look up Kingdom Hearts anniversary. I'm like, what are you talking about? This was very, very welcoming. Anyways, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell to stay notified, and to stay um 
to say notified with yours truly. Again, speak because I'm so excited. I'm not trying to like yell too much and everything, like because I got neighbors. I don't want to alert them. <laughs> but anyways, this is Master TJT56 signing out. See you guys next time.